How's it guys? Welcome to another video of Asian Man Struggles. Uh, today's video is a very interesting topic. Um, it's about a friend who's 35 years old and he's an Asian guy and uh, he's never had a girlfriend until recently and he's never done it. Uh, not only that but I got some comments over there asking for dating advice so <clears throat> Oh, this will be a perfect time to talk about both. Uh, so, okay, so I'll work with the topic. So he's a guy, 35 years old, Asian guy, um, who's really seen a girlfriend for just a little bit, maybe like a month or something, maybe even less than that. And, you know, he's never done it before, and you know, he, they broke up like very soon, and he's wondering how he can get back to the market, you know, to find another girl, and it. And it's something that plagues a lot of Asian dudes. Like they, they don't get dating experience until way later in life, in their mid twenties and late twenties. And a lot of it has to do. Uh, sorry about the wind, by the way. I'm outside, as you can see. But yeah, a lot of thing ha has to do with um, the Asian culture of working hard and studying when when they're in adolescence, from age fourteen to like their twenties up until college. They always had to focus on that and didn't really practice the social skills of, you know, interacting with girls or even have dating and any inclination of liking someone. Normally, they will just like, you know, dust themselves off and not really approach the girl or ask them out, even if someone they know in class or something like that. So a lot of it roots from that period on. And uh, yeah, I get it. You know, I was like that too. You know, it's going to be hard. But the one thing you need to know is that women will care about that. You know, even if you're, if you meet a girl that doesn't care and tells you, tells you, 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 she doesn't care. You know, if you're a virgin or you don't really have the many dating experience, never had a girlfriend before, <laughs> they will care. And inherently, they think about these things. They'll tell you otherwise. You know, so to, so they sound really nice and appreciative. You know, and considerate. But you know, deep down in their female nature, they will care. They will care not kill <laughs> and no matter if you're good rich handsome of a guy you know experience and what you do when you're out there dating really matters more that's how you do it first of all you must be confident all right even if you don't have the experience you don't care about it you like someone you focus on that and how to get that person um to bond with that person that is and that's what you need to do you got to be confident about it don't tell them that you have no experience it's fine if they honestly ask you about it and you tell them truthfully yeah i don't know i haven't dated anyone before you know it's fine but i don't care i'm just trying to meet the right person and that's how you do it you have to be confident about it and don't reveal it all right don't make it such a big deal that your lack of experience prevents you from getting the person don't apologize like, oh sorry this is my first experience my first girlfriend you know don't say that all right you can acknowledge that but don't say it in such a weak tone you have to be confident about that and second of all you need to get experience and even if you haven't had that experience you have to get out there and you have to try you're gonna see some failures, you're gonna get rejected, it's fine, just keep going, okay? You have to get experience, because if you don't get experience, you know, you're gonna not gonna be successful, okay? And here are some things to, if you wanna get experience, go on dates, setups, whatever you can do, have friends introduce you to someone. Um, dating apps are okay, but you know, it's always nerve wracking already, you know, meeting up with someone that you don't know. So I recommend that you know, ask friends, coworkers, family members to set you up on some kind of blind date. Start from there. That's probably the best connection right there. And just meet the person. Even if you don't know them, you don't like them, you don't, you've don't. seen their picture, you know, just do it. Just do it for the experience. Everything you do, you know, um, you have to do it with that kind of mindset. Okay? And um, I also recommend that you pay for dating coaches. Dating, dating coaches are, are widespread now. They have them everywhere. So get some experience from professionals who can teach you you know, show you the ropes of how to date. And now that you're making money in your 30s, your late 20s, you can afford it. 
you know, right? back then you had to struggle through it. Now you can pay someone that will get you to the finish line, you know, or at least help you get there. You know, and to pay, pay to win, you know, <laughs> and that, that's uh, that, that perspective that is. All right. And finally, my last advice, you know, is that don't settle. Just because there's a girl that likes you, you know, when you're in your, you know, because you have no experience and it seems like she's settling for you, you know, don't, don't settle. Don't just go for any old woman just because you never had a girlfriend before. All right. Take it with a grain of salt that you still have time. As a man in his 30s, you still have a lot of time. Even a man in his 40s, too, to be honest. I mean, of course, you might have to go a little younger because a lot of women in your age is probably already married already. But there's still an opportunity. Okay. But, but don't settle. Because once you settle, you're going to regret that decision. And don't think, don't think just because you don't have the experience, you're not worthy of that girl. That is not true. Okay. You can always build your experience up by those examples that I just gave you. Okay. And another heed of a uh, word of advice is that don't just go for older women too, just because they're easier when you're getting older. You know, they all want to settle down already by that age. But you, you have the opportunity to date younger. Okay. And of course, you know, I, I know I sound superficial, but find someone that you like, you know, what you are going for. I know age is just a number, but uh, take it with a grain of salt, you know, don't just settle for any old person that might like you. And I say might, you know, because you don't know for sure whether they like you or not, especially at that age. Everyone in their 30s and above are more realistic. They're more practical. So they're, they, of course, you know, it's not going to be the same, but definitely try the dating market out. You know, it's never too late for that perspective. And also, <laughs> don't go for baby mamas. Another advice, because people, women in that age group will, will probably have kids already. So... You know, just because you always want children and this is a one way to be a dad, you know, you're always going to be that stepdad, if anything. You know, they're not going to put you as a priority. And that's the absolute truth. No matter how much people will say that in the comments, definitely, you know, avoid women who are baby mamas and avoid those who are divorced before. OK, start fresh, meet women everywhere you can. Even if you're just doing it for the experience, it's totally worth it. All right, guys, that's that's my video. I, um, tell me again what you guys are interested in um, on the comments below. Be below, and remember, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.